everybody welcome back to my channel thank you so much for stopping by so today's video I'm going to show you how to make the most delicious eggs benedict you've ever had so if you want to see how I make them please keep watching but before we get started please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much to all of my new subscribers and don't forget to turn on those notifications just in case whenever I do put up a video you'll be the first to know so if you want to see how I make those eggs benedict then keep watching Now let's jump right on in. I'm going to start off by browning up four slices of Canadian bacon in a skillet over medium heat. Now if you've never had Canadian bacon, it kind of tastes like pieces of ham, at least to me it does, but it only takes a couple of minutes and as you can see it's just going to brown on top and I'm just going to let it cook for a couple of more minutes before I take it out and let it rest on a plate. Now of course you can have eggs benedict without holiday sauce so I'm going to go ahead and make that. So over medium heat in a saucepan I'm going to go ahead and melt two sticks of unsalted butter. And while the butter is melting I'm going to use the juice of two fresh lemons. You know, I really love lemons and I've been cooking with it a lot. Lemons just really add an acidity and a brightness and just that overall tanginess to whatever you cook. Now to make the holiday sauce, I pulled out my blender and I went ahead and separated three egg yolks. So I'm going to go ahead and add that into the blender. Now I'm adding the lemon juice, the fresh lemon juice that I squeezed earlier. So now I'm ready to mix the three egg yolks and the lemon juice together just making sure that is combined. And after a couple of minutes of blending I'm ready to take the top off and begin slowly pouring in the melted unsalted butter into the blender. So now I'm ready to season with some sea salt and for a little heat and a little kick some cayenne pepper. And that's pretty much it. Really simple. So I'm just going to put the blender on and just make sure everything is mixed really well. Now for eggs benedict you have to poach your eggs and I'll show you how to do that later. But right now I'm going to boil a pot of water and while that's boiling I'm going to prepare the English muffins. And I have two right here. I'm just going to take a knife and just split them in two. And just take some of your favorite butter and just butter both sides of both English muffins. Now once you're done putting butter on each side of your English muffin, you can put them in your toaster oven or in a broiler in your oven, just making sure they get golden brown and crispy. So my water is finally boiled and first I'm going to add just a little bit of white vinegar into the water and I'm just going to take a spoon and just swirl it around. So now I'm ready to drop the full eggs into the boiling water and I'm going to cook them for around 3 minutes and a poached egg really is just when the whites are just firm enough on the outside to contain an oozy yolk on the inside. And after 3 minutes of cooking you could just take a slotted spoon and take them out the water. Now we can begin building our eggs benedict. I've already toasted my English muffins. I'm going to top it off with the Canadian bacon that I browned up earlier. And I pulled out the poached eggs. You can see the firm egg whites on the outside and the yolks on the inside. And at last I'm going to top it off with that delicious holiday sauce. And you can top it off or garnish it with whatever you like. I like green onions and I just put a little sprinkle of some paprika. And that's it you guys. Delicious Eggs Benedict. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Share this video with everybody you know. Tag me on Instagram. I would love to see it. And if you give this recipe a try, let me know in the comment section down below and let me know what you think. go ahead and subscribe to my channel by clicking that box you see right there and if you want to see another video go ahead and click that box you see right there until then thank you so much for watching i love and appreciate you all and i will see you very soon in my next video Bye bye